Ukraine was considered as the breadbasket of the erstwhile Soviet Union. This is because Ukraine produced majority of the wheat in Soviet Union. But currently, due to the war between Ukraine and Russia, the wheat exports from Ukraine is affected. This has resulted in worldwide increase in food prices. To address this, the Black Sea Grain Deal has been signed. In this short video, let us see about the Black Sea Grain Deal. It is a deal between Russian Federation, Turkey and Ukraine. The deal is to export grain and fertilizers from three Ukrainian ports that is Chornomorks, Vodasa and Yulni. These three ports are important Ukrainian ports in the Black Sea. And this deal is brokered by the United Nations and Turkey. And it was signed in Istanbul on July 2022. It was initially expected to operate for a period of 120 days. But there was an option for extending it or terminating it after November. Under the Black Sea Grain Initiative, the Ukrainian vessels guide the cargo ships to international waters on the Black Sea. Then, the vessels safely proceed along the agreed corridor along the Black Sea. Then, the ships are inspected by JCC, that is, a joint coordination center at Istanbul. It consists of representatives from Russia, Turkey and United Nations. Now, what is the purpose of this deal? This deal is aimed at tackling the increasing food prices. Note that the food prices are emerging from supply chain disruption. Now, what caused the supply chain disruption? The main cause was the Russia's war on Ukraine. See, Ukraine is considered the breadbasket of the world. And Ukraine is among the largest exporters of wheat, maize, rapeseed, sunflower seeds and sunflower oil globally. And these commodities are exported through the deep sea ports of Ukraine in the Black Sea. And due to Russia's aggression, Ukraine was not able to access the deep sea ports. And this resulted in reduction in exports from Ukraine. And this has resulted in shortage in supply. So the food prices in the world market has increased. So basically, the Black Sea Grain Initiative provides for a safe maritime humanitarian corridor for Ukrainian exports. Then it ensures an adequate supply of grains. For example, it provides humanitarian food assistance to the East African region and Yemen. Then it helps to limit food inflation. For instance, because of this initiative, the food price index had decreased by nearly 14% from its peak in March. And lastly, it helps to ensure the safety of merchant ships delivering grains and foodstuff in the Black Sea region. Now the news is that Russia has rejoined the Black Sea grain deal. Because the Russian Federation now believes that the guarantees that it has received currently appears sufficient. Okay. So the question here is, what would have happened if the deal was suspended? It's very simple. If the deal had been suspended, there would be supply chain disruption, which would result in shortage in food grains. And this would result in increase in food prices globally. Finally, it will result in global hunger. To know more about exciting topics like this, Listen to Hindu News Analysis by Shankar IAS Academy and also subscribe to Shankar IAS Academy's YouTube channel. Thank you for listening.